Perry. Uh, to communicate. No! To woo women. <laughs> they were going to be talking about William Shakespeare. Oh, God. Oh, I know. A lot of you look forward to this about as much as you look forward to root canal work. We're going to talk about Shakespeare as someone who writes something very interesting. Now, many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus, bring your friend hither. <laughs> but if any of you have seen Mr. Marlon Brando, no, that Shakespeare can be different. France, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Let me rest. <laughs> you can also imagine maybe John Wayne is Macbeth going, well, is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs, sir? Oh, uh, not just now. <laughs> I do enjoy a good dog once in a while, sir. You can have yourself a three-course meal from one dog. Start with your canine crudite, go to your Fido flambe for main course, and for dessert, a Pekingese parfait. And you can pick your teeth with a little paw. Why do I stand up here? Anybody? To feel taller. No. Thank you for playing, Mr. Dalton. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. See, the world looks very different from up here. You don't believe me? Come see for yourselves. Come on. Come on. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Now, when you read, don't just consider what the author thinks. Consider what you think. Boys, you must strive to find your own voice. Because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. Thoreau said most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't be resigned to that. Break out. Now don't just walk off the edge like lemmings. Look around you. There. There you go, Mr. Christie. Thank you. Yes. Dare to strike out and find new ground. Now, in addition to your essays, I would like you to compose a poem of your own, an original work. Oh. Oh. Oof. La -ha 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 -ha. That's right. You have to deliver it aloud in front of the class on Monday. Oh. Bon chance, gentlemen. Mr. Anderson. Don't think that I don't know that this assignment scares the hell out of you, you mole. <laughs> 